from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. The heat continued today as our heat wave is still kind of in the early stages. A very hot and humid Father's Day highs in the mid-90s. We had some places in the upper 90s, even getting close to the actual temperatures approaching the triple digits. Uh, and, of course, those heat index values it doesn't take much humidity to get us up to around or even above the triple digit range. So we are still in the mid-90s right now. You can see that's evident from our tower camera network. Temperatures basically 90 to 95 right now in the Evansville metro with a good amount of sunshine, a little haze. Of course, we've had that air quality alert in effect for today. You can kind of see that hazy appearance out towards the uh, looking out across the Lloyd Expressway from our Austin Homes tower camera out on the west side of Evansville on the campus of USI and then uh, towards the Twin Bridges. That's the view from our Maldonado's tower camera with traffic on this Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Uh, moving along just fine in both north and southbound directions. But again, a little hazy and actually getting some cloud cover getting closer to the metro associated with those uh, showers and thunder showers to our southwest that are kind of pulsing up and down. That's also very typical of the summer-like pattern. A slim chance of rain. It's very hit or miss. Not a guarantee that all of us see the rain. Uh, but if you do, you could get some relief from the heat, but also uh, a brief downpour and then they'll kind of rain themselves out and we'll see some additional showers and thunder showers develop. That's the rain chance and storm chance that we have basically for the next several days. But outside looking uh, towards the west northwest across the bend in the Ohio from downtown Evansville and we're starting to see that big spread in temperatures because of those showers and the clouds just to the southwest. You can see Harrisburg, Illinois at 83 but 94 Evansville 96 degrees in Princeton but dew points again on the rise today upper 60s to low 70s and that's Pretty high humidity, so it's making those mid-90s feel like upper 90s and even some triple digits. Feels like 101 in Owensboro, heat index in Morganfield of 102. And check out that kind of on the outside, uh, outer limits there of the city of Princeton, 108. Uh, maybe a little magnified because it's uh, a little further away. Could be uh, dealing with some more moisture out of the open fields. We often see that in our Tell City location, uh, closer to the cornfields. Obviously not that time of the year uh, just yet for the corn to be growing, but uh, we will be dealing with that later in the summer. Like we mentioned before the break, this is very kind of mid to late summer type of a heat wave uh, that we're dealing with too. But all quiet in the immediate dry state, but you can see out towards the west and to the southwest, basically uh, just crossing the Saline Gallatin County line near Omaha. Uh, Illinois. You can start to see that cluster of some uh, pockets of lightning, pocket of heavy rainfall there along Illinois Route 13 just south of Omaha in northern and northwestern Gallatin County about to cross into southern White County. Uh, could clip New Haven but I think it may pass more to the west northwest of New Haven crossing 141. There is a special weather statement on this cluster of storms moving out of Dykesburg and approaching the Marion Kentucky area outside of the tri-state but you can see that path towards the north and northeast if it holds together would be the question number one. It could impact uh, parts of our western counties in uh, parts of uh, western Kentucky, basically Hopkins up to Webster and Union County, if that cell holds together. But there are indications that that cluster could begin to grow and expand. As I mentioned, usually this type of setup, once one cell fades away, we often see another cluster start to develop as well. And that's what Future Tracker shows, but I think Future Tracker may be kind of overdoing it. It has basically between now and six o'clock already rain in the Evansville Metro, and obviously that's not materializing at this point, uh, but we could start to see some of those developing showers and thunder showers here over the next uh, hour to hour and a half. So keep that in mind, not a guarantee again, but just don't be surprised if you hear some rumbles of thunder if you're outdoors, and of course if you are and a storm rolls over your area, you definitely want to take shelter and let that pass. Not really expecting anything strong or severe, but again, just like we're seeing that special weather statement down in far southwestern Kentucky, could have some maybe some hail, heavy rain, perhaps some gusty winds as well. But again, that's the theme of our forecast. Hot, humid, near daily chances of showers and storms bubbling up during the heat of the day. Tomorrow could be one exception where we have a few lingering later into the nighttime hours, but more clouds than sun, but still a few peaks of sun on Tuesday. And we mentioned yesterday, the trend is still there, forecasting around or just above 90 on Tuesday but we could have a few clouds and maybe some showers that could keep some locations in the upper 80s that could potentially end our streak of consecutive 90 degree days but either way you look at it hot and humid for the next several days very humid today very humid uh, tomorrow and Tuesday as well with those higher dew points and they kind of level off in the upper 60s but you can see the mid 90s staying with us we do have a system that looks to develop by Sunday still uncertain on the timing this far out but we could have some more organized showers and storms that could also drop the humidity by the end of next weekend.